to all my friends out there. And so this video is let's take a look at the stockpile. Okay, uh, November, I moved in here and um, when I moved, I donated my stockpile because this stuff's heavy and you know I had a lot of stuff to move. I had lived there 16 years. And so I donated my food to the senior citizens. So uh, this last week, uh, uh, my my stockpile started evolving a little bit, and so I wanted to uh, mention a couple of things. And so this time, what I want to do is go through the boxes one by one, a little bit more slowly. So if you're new to stockpiling, you could start now. If you have a lot of food in your house, you could go through your food and make sure you're prepared if you had to evacuate. And you know, there's been some pretty uh, bad natural disasters. So, okay, I'm just gonna start out. And the first box I want to start out with is this box right here. Okay, this box is, is meat. And I have tuna fish, quite a bit of tuna fish. I have chicken. And uh, I bought uh, the tuna fish and the chicken pretty cheap this month. Buy one, get one free. I have some ham. Uh, this is um, corned beef. Uh, I have some deviled ham. I have um, some uh, corned beef. And what I wanted to mention is, let's see, what is the, the, now see what I start doing is really, really inspecting the cans for expiration because, you know, uh, you want to make sure your, your stockpile is pretty fresh just in case you ever had to eat it, God forbid. I mean, if it was life, if it was death and you had to eat your stockpile, you don't want some old food that's nearly expired. And then this box, what I start doing is going through pack, going to packages so that these are lightweight, they don't take up much space, and they're pretty cheap. I bought them 50 cents each. Okay, and then... This week, you know, I got the free food in the laundry room, and, and it was some pretty stale beans. So I think for the stockpile, the big cans are good. Uh, the canned beans are the most uh, less likely to get stale, and you know, watch your expiration you know, whatever kind you like. But I, I'd say the thing to do is get big cans and get all different kinds you know all different kinds of beans uh, what I do is I just wait for them to go on sale and then you know I stock up okay and the other thing is you want to stockpile is sweet potatoes and uh, white potatoes and so uh, you know if you had to take off you know in an emergency so, uh, this little box is very flimsy. Uh, so I want meat, and then I want beans. And then I would want bread, some kind of bread. I have pancake mix. If you've been following me, you will, I, I want biscuit mix, uh, pancake mix, uh, and you could use a barbecue or a hibachi or um, a hot plate and crackers. Okay, so what I really found out this month is you don't want to you don't want to run out of bread. That's a bad thing to run out of. Here I have some cereal, and what I did was I went to uh, all grain pasta from now on, especially for the stockpile. I already had 
this pasta. I have some cereal. But um, what I will do is I will eat all of my whole grain first, and then I will go to this. I'm not so much worried about, oh, it's going to waste. No, it's not going to waste. I have rice. Here's my whole wheat pasta. Half open. And then, you know, I have this kind of rice. I bought one. Get one free. I have some croutons. Now, this, this is important. Olives, pickles. I have some nuts. I have some jam. Uh, olives. Uh, you want to make sure I have some instant potatoes. I have some uh, macaroni and cheese. So, okay, so I have rice and pasta, jam. Uh, this is a very important box. This, uh, this is a big box. So, you know, this is a pretty lightweight box. But this is an important box. And then I stockpiled some uh, Pepsi. And then, you know, I have a little bit of top ramen. Normally, I stockpile a lot of um, soup, but I guess I ate my soup. Um, another thing is you want to keep your um, stockpile dust-free. So you can see my stuff is pretty clean. Uh, one thing you can do is throw a plastic tablecloth. You know those ones you get at Dollar Tree? Okay, and here is spices, and what I do is I keep them all inside of bags because I don't want them getting... I don't want them getting dusty, and I don't want them getting stale. Okay, this is important. This is milk. And uh, last night, you know, I was making the pina coladas, and I couldn't find the... But another thing that's nice is this uh, coffee creamer. And then I have some reconstituted lemon and lime. Uh, I have some... Um, uh, some tapioca pudding, you know, just anything I might possibly want to eat. Uh, so I have some milk. Uh, what I will buy is canned milk pretty soon. Okay, and this is a bag of tea. And you notice all my tea is wrapped up. Okay, so why, why even bother with tea? Well, let's say something happened, something bad happened, and you ran out of the house with your tea. And you could have some kind of little sandwich with some tea and some crackers. And Ricky was telling me one of her boyfriends won't eat anything but uh, sun tea. And you just put your water and uh, um, five or six bags of tea in the sun. Okay, and what I want to mention about this is for water, never throw your water bottles out. Always refill them. Here, we can refill them for 35 cents. Okay, this is, is vegetables. Just any kind you like. Uh, what I think I learned from that experience donating the food is, is people run out of, uh, this is important, vegetables this is a good one a lot faster than and this is good uh, okay this is important I'll be stockpiling big cans of yams and then over here I have some hominy hominy is good you can make all kinds of things out of hominy okay now here's where I made some adjustments this month uh, this is all kinds of different kinds of fruit. Uh, you probably don't want to be running out of fruit. So, you know, I just bought any kind that, you know, I have. Mainly, though, uh, I have um, pie fillings, about six, eight cans of those, because you can make some good dump cakes. And, uh, and I want to lean heavily on vitamin C fruit. You know, you don't want to be getting in any kind of condition of, of scurvy type situations. Okay, so this box is fruit and then up here I have a little box of, of dry fruit. And uh, as soon as I find it, I'm going to put the nuts in 
the nuts in with this dry fruit. I stockpiled some dry nuts somewhere. Okay, and this is a little box of like uh, candy or some kind of cookies, chocolate chips. I only have one cake mix, so I want to get some more cake mix. So what I did when I bought most of this stuff is I just bought one or two, or what I will be doing pretty soon is buy one, get one free. Uh, probably one of your most important things is whole wheat, um, meat, and uh, bread. Okay, and in this box I have some oil. You don't want to get out of town in an emergency. Oh, here's the box that had the soup. I don't have too much soup. I have some, you know, sloppy gel mix and some tomato sauce and some kind of fruit juice and some honey. But what I'll be doing is, is I'll be going to all packages because they're easier to store. Uh, I wanted to mention though, on these packages, I will put them inside of a baggie. I don't want them getting any dirt or dust. So, uh, in here, you know, it's the spaghetti sauce, sloppy joe, a soup, a little soup, and some oil. Okay, now this is very important. This is what I have changed things up a little because of the experience of trying to donate food. Okay, let's say something really bad happened. Uh, okay, so you don't want to be throwing any food out. Okay, now this food is a little bit undesirable because it was out of our possession for, I don't know, a week or so. We don't know if they kept it in the heat. We don't know what happened to this food, but I don't want to throw it out uh, because I'll tell you why. Say if something happened and some, you know, something happens. No one has any food. They're starting to get very, very hungry, but you don't really want to give them your stockpile food because you might need your food while well, you would give them these kind of foods. And you know what? These are some wheat crackers, some donuts, some pasta, some nuts, and some beans. You would give this food to somebody, you know, say a stranger. And so you might go, well, uh, gee, that's kind of stingy, you know? Well, uh, how about this? How about no food? How, how would you like that? So, okay. So what you want to do is you want to go through your stockpile. You want to keep all your stuff in baggies. You want to keep all your stuff piled up so that if needs be. Another thing uh, that is good is to close the boxes so dust and dirt don't get on your food. And then throw like a tablecloth or a blanket. You want to keep the blankets close by, you know, too, close by to your stockpile. And so I will be doing more of these videos. And, uh, you know, if you have excess food, uh, you know, ask your friends, ask your neighbors, or uh, donate it somewhere. So I will be doing these about once a month. You want to go through your stockpile so you know what you have. Okay, when I did this, what I noticed, okay... I need more water, I need more milk, and I need more soup. Um, let's see. I know I'm forgetting something, but um, when I, I think of it, you know, I'll jot it down. So, okay, check out your food. Make sure your food, you know, if you had to... Uh, a lot of these um, disasters is you do have a little bit of an idea that they're coming and and if you do you want to you want to leave you want to evacuate you want to take make sure you have a car full of gas money food and water and and a weapon and you know if things get really bad you're going to need a weapon to protect your food to protect your family and so okay you guys god bless you all